right, so a lot of you guys, if you guys are from TikTok, you guys have been asking to see how I work out. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys today. I mean, don't act like I'm the best at what I do. I know a little bit about what I'm doing, but I'm damn sure not the best. We're walking in right now. I'm gonna start off with the bike, then I'm gonna do some lifting. I did a TikTok challenge where I told people to comment something and I will do whatever they challenge me to do here. And a lot of people were saying like, do like 25 miles walking and like, 35 miles on the bike, just crazy stuff. I'm gonna go through these comments and see what's doable and what's not doable. And I'm gonna start doing this video, so let's go. All right, so when I start off on the bike, I put the resistance up to nine, and then I'm good to go. All right, so I didn't record it, but I did 20 miles on the bike. But I wanna show you guys a machine that has helped me with my bad back. Um, this is called the rotary calf. And what it does is, it stretches out your calves, but you can also feel it up in your back. It doesn't show it here, but you can feel your back pop. But for people with a bad back, this is definitely a must. I do between 145 and 165. Starting off, you can do whatever you want, but this is what I do. And I'll show you guys how it works. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your feet with the tips right like that. So you're lined up evenly what you do is you roll your calves and what you're doing is you're extending your calves and in return it's working your back as well if you have a bad back so what i do is i do three sets or sometimes four sets of 20 and honestly it just it just feels good on my back seriously that's why i do it all right the next thing i do is called a lateral pull down and what this does is you grab that bar up there and pull it down <laughs> for for lack of layman's terms but this works out your back your uh what is that triceps i think i have no idea triceps right biceps are the ones in the front biceps are, uh, the ones right here triceps are here right here the triceps are back here yeah all right, so that's triceps and your back. So, I don't know, I always do this. Like I said, I have no idea what it does, but I do it. And uh, it worked for me last time, so I still do it. Three sets of 12, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so I just did the leg press. Pretty self-explanatory. Three sets of 12. Normally do between 250, 300 pounds. I didn't feel like showing it, but now I'm gonna do bench press. Right now, I'm at 15 pounds on each side because I don't have much upper body strength. I'll work my way up though, and uh, I'll show you my form and uh, let you guys see it in person. So I, I was just, dude, I was checking myself out in the mirror. I'm like, yo, I got some big guns. Go subscribe to our K Boss, guys. <laughs> I do is three sets of 12 on that as well. All right, I just did my ball stretches, which I'll insert a picture of right here. Didn't show it. I mean, I can show you my Instagram story. Steve, what are you doing? Stretching my back, I think, but it feels so good that it hurts. Hey, O'Claw boss, what you doing? I'm cleaning my balls, man. Um, basically, it's for my lower back. I lay on the ball and uh, roll backwards stretches my back, hold it for 30 seconds, do it three to four times. Now I'm gonna do sitting squats, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's for bigger people who can't go all the way down to do a squat because basically we can't get back up. Thanks, Joe, for looking like a creep behind me. Um, but sitting squats are for bigger people who can't do regular squats because our, our knees just don't support it. So you have to 
you basically we fall over. So I'll show you guys what sitting squats are. And if you're a bigger person, you can do these at home as well, just from sitting on your bed or your couch. Sweat. I just like look at that. The wide angle lens really shows it. Like, look at this forehead, dude. Like this, this ain't no joke. My man is doing it. 350 pounds by September. I wish. Imagine that. That could be possible. Just uh, do this 100 times a day. I think he means cut. <laughs> So I do three sets of 12 of those, and that works for glutes and helps break them thighs down. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I hope if you're a bigger person, this video will benefit you. If you guys are from TikTok, uh, thank you for coming over from TikTok to watch this video. If you guys are not from TikTok, I post a lot more workout videos that are not as detailed, but you guys can get an idea of what I do over there and what I do at the gym and you'll see more and more and more of what I do. Also, I did a weigh-in today. I'm gonna put that TikTok right here right now. All right, you guys want a weight loss update? Here you go. Now that's with underwear and with my phone in my hands. Now watch this video till the end, it's very important. I've been weighing myself all week and I have been 615.6 pounds. Every single day, the exact same weight. I have been dieting, calorie deficit, cardio at the gym every single day. My clothes are fitting looser. My mobility is coming back in extreme ways. I feel a lot better after just one week. Here's a question for you guys that do weight loss journeys and all that stuff. And for those of you that are experiencing the same thing as me or have. I also do weightlifting every single day. I work on my biceps, my triceps, my calves, leg presses. As you guys can see in previous videos, bench presses. I do that every single day along with the cardio. Is my weight staying the same because I'm building muscle? Because like I said, I'm doing a calorie deficit, I'm doing cardio, cut out soda, cut out fast food, and altogether, I'm just eating less. So at what point will I start losing weight? Thanks for your support. Hopefully, I start losing the weight. I mean, I've noticed that my shirts are getting bigger a little bit. Uh, I noticed that even looking at this video right now, I can see that my stomach is not as big as it was i mean i hit rock bottom about two weeks ago and my gym opened back up in philly which was a godsend blessing uh because if that didn't happen i don't know where i would be right now so thank you guys for watching i do appreciate you uh, i hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs got a lot of positive feedback about the vlogs don't worry though the arcade videos are coming back soon so you guys can look forward to some fresh arcade content but I'm going to keep doing vlogs, arcade content, everything on this channel. So stay tuned. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Go follow me on Instagram at ClawBossNJ. Go follow me on TikTok at ClawBossNJ. And go subscribe to our K-Boss. He filmed most of this video for me. Actually, he films most of my videos. So thank you so much, our K-Boss. You are the OG uh, cameraman for the ClawBoss channel. So go give his channel a subscribe and follow him on Instagram. He's about to hit 10K. So if you guys could help him out and go follow him on Instagram at our KBoss, he would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I am ClawBoss, and I approve this message. Peace.